Is COVID still dangerous in 2025? The answer isn't so simple. Let me explain. India currently reports over 5,000 active cases with recent deaths mainly in Kerala, Karnataka, Maharashtra and Delhi. You must be wondering why this spike? Immunity from vaccines and past infections fades over time. Plus, the virus keeps mutating, creating variants that spread faster and evade immunity. There are three main variants driving the current surge. Among them, NB181 is 1.5 times more contagious than previous variants. JN1 is a subvariant of Omicron spreading rapidly. These variants generally cause milder illness than Delta or early Omicron. Most infections feel like cold or mild flu. Who is still at risk? People with chronic diseases, the elderly, and those with compromised immune systems remain vulnerable. Most recent deaths have been reported in these groups. Why should we care? Even mild cases can lead to long COVID, or if infections spike, it can overburden the healthcare system. New mutations can change the virus's behavior, so monitoring is essential. COVID in 2025 is less deadly for most people, but not risk-free. It remains a threat to vulnerable people and requires continued vigilance.